All right, guys, so this this is what's going down, all right? You guys are probably wondering what's going on with the title and all of that, or, you know, losing hope, whatever. Basically, I'm quitting YouTube, Ooh. all right? I'm going back to school to become a gynecologist. What the? Okay? <laughs> Janice is going to be carrying the channel by herself. Okay. Um, I'm becoming a gynecologist simply because there's no gynecologist out here that can fix my girlfriend. <laughs> who can fix her um, areas. It was nice knowing you guys. This is the last video you guys will see me in. And um, babe, good luck with the channel. That's all I can say. Guys, he's completely joking, okay? If I'm you, not. <laughs> if that's not obvious, even though, I mean, I would love for you to become my gynecologist and figure everything out for me. And you help want me, me to out. look at other girls' areas? No, I said my gynecologist, not oh, others. You want, you want me to be a private gynecologist? Yes. Okay, so you want to be selfish. Yep, you exactly. You don't want me to share my knowledge with everyone else. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. If it's to help people like me, then oh, sure. I ain't going to become no gynecologist. That's why I never went to college. I can't <laughs> do school, bro. School is not for me. Yeah, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. All right, if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys hit that subscribe button uh leave a positive comment down below for a chance to get a post notification shout out at the end of today's video the title we're starting to lose hope it's basically you want to tell them what's going on with you you're broken yeah i'm not broken well you're not fixed oh my goodness <laughs> so guys pretty much what's going on is i know that we've been updating you on my endometriosis situation and i figured i haven't spoken to you guys about it in a while and a lot of you have been dming me about it and i just haven't been saying anything because i've been really struggling if like that's like the shortest way to put it right babe yeah she's been going through like a lot of cramping pains um tmi but like she it's like she's always like on her time of the month um, always literally i'm always uh that stuff st happens i don't want to say like yeah. the word because i don't want to like gross people, gross out, people but, out, yeah, but it's like it, it i can imagine how annoyed she can get with this type of stuff because it's like i would be annoyed myself you know it's like it's never ending and um honestly i haven't talked about like all the birth controls that i've been on or like i don't know if i have i've been on almost seven different birth controls at this point it's already seven yeah it's been a lot like so imagine in a short amount of time the amount of stress that puts on your body women out there you know like if you have birth control you take it like how much it affects you so i react so negatively and my side effects now on this pill um have been not as bad as the rest however the spotting is ridiculous because it's more than spotting and it's been consistent since i started taking the pill and i'm going on two months so imagine dealing with constant like stuff like that for two months and it's caused me dizziness and nausea all the time literally i can't smell certain foods i can't smell certain things without gagging or feeling like i'm gonna throw up or pass out so it's definitely not fun and i've expressed these feelings to my doctor and he basically told me to come in and have a chat because i really want to discuss my options i'm honestly fed up at this point but we gonna have a chat and yeah we got a big list of questions going all right and we're gonna ask them and whatever answers he gives if i got questions for those answers i'm gonna ask them because i'm actually gonna go inside with you this time and we're gonna get to the bottom of this because this has to like just end at this point yeah and like i always get so nervous and i have so much anxiety so when i have my like episodes i pretty much blank out and i don't ever ask questions i'm kind of just like okay he just tells me what to do and i'm just like all right so i guess this is what i have to do and i forget about all my questions and concerns and my complaints so that's, that's why I he's come coming in, in. <laughs> that's where i come in and then i start questioning a doctor and he's probably gonna get annoyed but it's like bro i need answers we need answers like this just has to stop like the, i understand that this is like um is it like is it like a disease or like what is it a condition um yeah i think it's a disease okay so whatever it is endometriosis we know it's not going to be let's say like an easy life or whatever but there's got to be something to actually help it and just to overall just feel better right and i know that there's no cure however i just need something so i know that we talked your ear off um i'll update you a little bit more when we get out of the gynecologist but you got anything you want to say uh we're just gonna give them an update when we get out we'll let you guys know what the doctor said and if we ended up squaring up or not <laughs> um because i'm telling you he's probably gonna get annoyed with all the questions i'm gonna be asking but i feel like this needs to be asked at this point 
especially because I feel personally like last thing before we like update you this is a huge reason why we haven't moved to Florida yet honestly because my health is not okay and there's no doctors out there that specialize in endometriosis so that for me was really scary deciding to make that move and not having any closure with my condition or disease or whatever so yeah we need yeah, answers disclaimer guys the doctor that we go to he's not a bad doctor at all he's actually really really good really, not at really all nice um we just need to we gotta ask questions when we go in because mm -hmm. like she said she doesn't ask questions because she gets all nervous or whatever the case is so i'm gonna go in this time and i'm gonna ask questions because we gotta know these things yeah but for sure. just a disclaimer he's not a bad a bad doctor at all he's actually really really great yeah and, he um, really yeah. helped me with my surgery he pretty much saved my ovaries so but he's yeah. gonna get annoyed with me today <laughs> but it's okay so we'll give you guys an update as soon as we get out of the doctor well, guys we just got out the office with the doctor turns out she's pregnant Ooh. no i'm not don't say stuff like that one day we'll be saying those words i and know i'm gonna right? be so happy when you say it. <laughs> um the car just turned on by itself i think so oh it's on the automatic thing all right see the fancy stuff that's why i don't like buying fancy stuff it scares me <laughs> um but go ahead tell them the good news we got a completely different outcome than what we thought we were gonna get yeah and we had like a million and one questions written down and like going in there's no need for them first off obviously isaiah witnessed my ultrasounds how they go how did that go for you how did you feel I saw you like in pain and you told me at home that if he does an ultrasound that it's like you're going to be in pain mm -hmm. and I was just like mm -hmm. like I don't like seeing her in pain obviously so that makes me uncomfortable but obviously I know he's a doctor he's doing what he has to do and yeah but it, it makes me a little uncomfortable with, like seeing you in pain like that like I don't like that yeah that's probably the worst pain I ever feels when I'm getting like examined <laughs> because of like everything it's but a good thing though because tell him what he found so what he found out was that I have no cysts. He found nothing. Nothing at all. No lesions, nothing. He said everything looks completely healthy. He also told me that the birth control that I'm on is like ruining me pretty much. So he told me to get off of birth control in general. Which is what I wanted. I hate birth control. It never worked for me. But I kept being told that I needed it because of my cysts. I don't have any cysts anymore. You have nothing. Literally I have nothing. literally nothing. He said it's like she doesn't have endometriosis. Obviously, she still has it because that doesn't go away. But he was like, there's nothing there. So it looks like she doesn't even have it. And then he also said that he couldn't find my left ovary. So he did send me for an ultrasound for that. So what he did was he just prescribed me the ultrasound or whatever. I have to go and get that done in the future. And he he wants to see me back in a month but he said he's pretty confident that i'm gonna be okay it's up to me if i want to take birth control or not he recommended an iud uh i don't want to put hormones in my body like i've already decided that i want to do everything the natural way so that's out of the question but that is Guys, all the news overall great news we did not expect this at all honestly we have no one to thank but god god obviously took care of her did what he had to do and so grateful for that he also said that she can live a 100 percent normal lifestyle now meaning she can eat whatever the heck she wants if she so chooses to she can go to the gym and lift heavy if she so wants to she wasn't able to do this stuff before right he said he did stress though that he wants you to more so relax like your mental really just like kind of relax take it easy and just kind of like i guess be at peace <laughs> yeah so i do have anxiety so that does play a role in my energy endometriosis pain and what he told me is that it's a constant cycle i get anxiety and then it triggers pressure and pain and whenever i do feel anxiety i do tense up and he said that that's a huge trigger for my pain as well he said just stay away from you know caffeine stuff that's not good for anxiety and ibs because i have ibs all of this goes hand in hand so yeah basically i have to just relax um i just gotta do stuff that can reduce my it's anxiety. more of a mental state of mind you know just be okay up here and you'll be okay down there but i'm gonna be okay up here because i'm not going through depression and anxiety that the pills give me like i've been going through it like i don't talk about it but i've really been going through it mentally and it affects me physically i wake up feeling dizzy like i feel like i'm gonna pass out all the time like so the fact that now i can feel normal i am praying that for jamaica i am just living my best life oh no you're going to best. that was the best news to get right before jamaica the whole the best thing about this whole doctor visit though was i got candy 
I got candy. Wait, hold on. I got some too. Wait, wait, wait what'd you wait, get? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, I don't know which pocket it's in. You're not supposed to have candy. Yes, sir. It's mint. I got the mint one. I'm I telling you, trainer. It. I I could have mints. Uh, mm, I'll ask your trainer about that one. All right. Well, anyway, got, uh, you found it. I saw it. There, there it is. She got her mint. <laughs> All right, so with all that being said, guys, overall great news, very positive outcome at the end of this video. We'll see you guys at home and we'll close it out then. All right, guys, so we finally made it back home. We're about to go get some lunch going. She's gonna make us some chicken tacos, so I'm like really excited for that. But that is the end of today's video, guys. Just an update with her endometriosis. A very good end to the video. We did not expect this at all. You got anything you wanna say? All glory to God. That's all I got to say. That's right. I swear, keep keep your faith in God and everything will go right. 100%. I, I, oh, I can't even. This is crazy. So excited. <laughs> all right, guys. So we're going to go and make them chicken tacos, but it is time for today's post notification shout out. Today's post notification shout out goes out to AKT. Shout out to you, girl. Thank you for all the love and support. If you guys want a post notification shout out, all you guys got to do is like, comment, share, and subscribe, and turn your post notification bells on so you're notified whenever we post a new video. And with all that being said, we will catch you in the next banger.